Hello and welcome to Any Investigations. My name is James Bartholomew and today we're doing a game called Scraps. Uh, Scraps is a game that I backed on Kickstarter a little while ago, just so you guys fully know. I know, I uh, just closed that. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a vehicle game where you essentially, you, you build a vehicle to fight other vehicles with. And you do so in a, in a very, like, Lego-esque way. So there's my cockpit on the, I haven't actually played it yet. I've been waiting for it to be, be released in a, in a more... Uh, more stable build before I actually take a look at it but yeah so this is this is scraps and so the idea of it is that you build vehicles to fight other vehicles in in a way that that's sort of um sort of reminiscent of a game like uh oh I can't think of a game that's I guess kind of like um Banjo and Kazooie Nuts and Bolts but also Besiege Game similar to those. Some cannons on the front. There's cannons up there. There we go. Those angles of fire are pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, yeah. What do, what do we think of this? Right, storage space. We don't need storage space. I don't know if we need storage space actually. I actually, I don't know really what I'm, what I'm looking for here. So armor on this thing. How much money do I have? I'm not sure. I like the art style. So, uh, I like the art style so far, and I like the music. Pretty nifty. I don't need that piece there. I want the piece on the side. My my goal with this is to basically try and keep the car as close to enemies as possible. As uh, or as sorry, as far away from enemies as cool. This cockpit from this Oh, okay. So we can't actually see anything. Okay. And if I move that brick to there. Move that brick to there. Move my heat sink to there. I'll put some armor on the back. I would compass my armor on my heat sink. Move some armor here. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, kind of Kerbal Space Programming. Kind of, um. Let's try that. We'll call this one the Iagavos Intimidator. There we go. That's our car. That's what we're going to drive here. We're going to drive the Iagavos Intimidator. I'm gonna do a level here. We'll do some racing. So it's basically a right. So that's shoot is with the is with RB. Okay. Okay, that caused trouble. Okay. Drive with the right stick. It looks like. So it looks like, oh, well, one of my guns is blown up. Okay, that's not good. Oh, hello. All right, Tron, you're going down, buddy. High heat. Okay, so I guess that my car can overheat when it's being shot. Okay, interesting. It's not good, okay. Car can handle better. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Help. Okay. Car is automatically flip over. Evac in progress. What does that do? Oh, it takes me back to this. So, so repair mode. What does that mean? So I can. All right. So I can spend scrap to repair my vehicle. Okay. Uh, I need to put my heat sink back on the. Okay, that's pretty nifty. That I can put. That I can put a a bunch of um. I can actually make changes to the ship mid-battle, or not to the ship, to the um, to the weapon link suspension. Free. That sounds good. We, we deploy. Okay, so so it looks like we can leave the battle midway through, and then we repair. Oh, what's this? Yeah, the car could handle better. Although I'm not sure if that's because I made the car poorly. So that we can carry scraps. Okay. Why is only why aren't my front cannons firing? One of my cars just exploded. Okay. And my guns just exploded. Alright, how do I 
it's like X changes the gun we've got selected. You see down there in the bottom. Down in the bottom right, you can see what gun I've got. I can't even got selected. Now it's all of them. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I wish the gun, the car handled a little better. But, you know, not, not a huge complaint about that as yet. I mean, it'd be nice if it, if it drove slightly better. Um, the how to play, I will admit now, I did not. Should have read, but it feels like the controls are pretty easy to figure out. Okay. Let's, um, let's get out of here and see you back. Repair my car. Can't repair all, so I need. All right. So it looks like one of the things, like one of those things, I can get, and I didn't notice, is these scrap containers that allow me to um, that allow me to basically hold more scrap, hold more currency, which I guess is useful to be able to repair the the vehicle more. Okay, so now I've unlinked... Oh, hello. Yeah, so it's got tank controls. Uh, the car moves depending on where it's facing and where the camera's facing, which I... I, I don't know, I kind of, in situations... Oh, God, we're going to overheat and die, aren't we? Not good. Ah! Yeah, I don't... I would like there was another, another, maybe another control option for the car, one that's more more akin to how I would normally uh, drive a car in video games. Well, I guess this is this is a game that's more about. Um... Oh well, no, we've got no guns. Okay, so what if we try with one of the? Um... Well, I guess we're only playing with AI now. So what if we leave the game? Uh, oh, let's help. Engines, generators, capacitors. Repair mode. Okay. Okay, so we repaired everything. <laughs> what if we put just a small machine gun on the front? Like that, like a tiny little, tiny little nipple gun there. There we go. Put that there. We'll move that armor because we don't need that. Now, can we put another storage thing on the front? Yes, we can. All right. What I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to basically try and just run around, pick up the scrap, and then get out of there. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Go, little nipple gun. Oh, it moves so slow. Why is it so slow? Oh, I know why. We don't have an engine on the car. Alright, I like stuff like that. I like the, like, that, that the car is completely customizable to the point that you don't have an engine. Oh, look at that car shooting already. Oh, oh, I just sit here. Oh, no, we're on fire. 22 kilometers an hour is not fast enough for the James Mobile. <laughs> yeah, I can see this being a lot of fun playing it online with your friends and be like, alright, okay, so now you have to pick. Now the car you, that you pick has to only have these types of guns on it. And as the game... Oh, why'd I redeploy? Oh, god damn it, I didn't repair anything. Oh, there's scrap down there. Though. Nah. Oh, damn you. You butthole. Eh. Oh, well, that destroyed my gun. Not worth. I have 782 scrap. Some of that is going to have to be spent on an engine for the car. But you know what, boys and girls? I'm digging this. I honestly am. It, it's... it's. Oh, god damn it. Alright, so that's a problem. Redeploy and repair look way too similar. And, um... 
Yeah, I'm definitely pressing those too much. Okay. I like that if you press the middle analog stick down, it uh, centers the camera. That's pretty cool. Ow, stop shooting me. Alright, drive, 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 drive. Brum, brum, brum. Oh. Bye bye. Oh, that guy, that guy kind of wrecked me a little bit there, didn't he? Okay, so everything's repaired. Do you have enough for a weapon? No enough for a weapon, no enough money for anything. What's this stuff? Oh, it's for actually building the car, changing its, changing its um, momentum. Okay. All right, so let's redeploy and let's try and do let's try and do a multiplayer match now. Let's see how that works. In game, yes. I got no kills, no points, and I lost nothing. Cool. All right, if we go to single player. I'm gonna try single player. We'll try it with one of the one of the cars that's been built already. And one of these dumb ones that I've that I've made. We'll use the oh look, some of these guys are using the Agabus Intimidator. That's not good of them. They shouldn't do that at all. That is not a well made car. Yeah, you can use a little MG. And you can use the Timmy. Right, I'm gonna change this to the to fifteen hundred. I'm gonna try using this car. I'm gonna try using this Top Gun. Let's see how that works. Oh, hello. Interesting how how car designs can change based on how based on who's designing and then how much scrap you have available to you. How powerful this thing is. Also, like the damage is modular. And by that I mean it appears that. A lot of what's coming, a lot of damage you do to them is damaging the parts, not the car. And as the parts die, And as the parts die, the car gets destroyed. It all comes down to to what money you can spend, and and what type of player you are. It looks like so. It looks like if I wanted to, I could start off with a very small car, but with lots of um, storage on it. Go and collect a bunch of it, and then build a much bigger car. And it looks like. Or what I assume happens is that when you destroy a car, its bits are turned into scrap. So say I'm running a an, an 18,000 scrap car, which I think this car's 13,000. Oh, bye bye Hunty rules. Huntley rules, sorry. That's a place in Australia, Huntley. I've been to Huntley. Boom, 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 boom. No, we're losing, we're losing stuff fast here. Lost our engines. Good. I also like that I can use the guns to repel myself. That's pretty cool. Okay, so if we say repair the car. Now we need we need a heat sink on the top because that's the car was definitely overheating and if you put some engine and this is what I like you it seems like you can modify the car as you go to provide some uh, to allow the the to allow for more um Customization in the middle of the battle, so like you don't know what you're going up against at the beginning. So what you do is you put it on, you build the ship as is, and then you um, you build you build the car, and then in the middle of it you you like oh this guy is using this strategy, so I need to build another car made like this. It seems like a very very uh, flexible game and. I mean, especially for something that looks like it's made, made not for competitive gameplay, but for just dumb fun. It's 
certainly something where that where that mid battle customization can be can be appreciated. Oh, let's see if we can kill one more car. I like this this Top Gun guy. I know it seems a little bit OP, but I like it. It's, it's pretty cool. All right, so he's hurting me. I like that I can also target my weapons. So like right now, my so my cannons can shoot anywhere. It looks like. So I can take out their guns first, and that me and that allows me the opportunity to. Oh god, they're ganging up on me. Okay. <laughs> that guy's that called Scraps for Life. Lost one, of my, lost one of my engines. Lost both my engines, and I've lost power as well. Right, so it looks like if I take, I can take out his guns. That's one gun. Bob, Bob killed, killed him. Yeah, if I take out the gun. So yeah, it looks like like based on up against how you how you how you target your guns. So I take out the weapons. Interesting, so they destroyed me and then it looks like I just come back in the full car again from scratch. With with as much with all the scrap I picked up as well, okay. It's not really too much of a penalty for, for dying. Well I guess it's is a penalty for dying is is isn't good, but it is a boon for the enemies because they get scrap. Okay. I'm digging this. I, I I this is in early access now. it's it's only just coming come out on, on Steam early access and from what I've played, I can see it getting a lot more fun as more parts added and more more damage and more um, more more battle locations. Oh wait, oh my my passes on the back are gone. I'm stuck here. Oh god, I am actually stuck here. Oh no. I'm digging this. I really am. It's and it, what I've shown isn't. I, I don't want to try getting into multiplayer games because I'm scared when we find one. Because as I said, the games are only out in early, early access, and I don't feel like there's that many people playing it. But it looks like a lot of fun. If you're playing Scraps, let me up. We'll, we'll definitely have a game and we'll, we'll record it. This we'll do. A, we'll do a multiplayer in the investigations. Yeah, you know what? I'm digging this, and I recommend you guys check it out. It's pretty, especially if you're into like Lego car building, like Besiege meets Kill Space Program meets Carmageddon. Although not Carmageddon, it's Carmageddon's terrible. Meets um, Twisted Metal, actually. Let's say Twisted Metal. All right, boys and girls. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and we'll see you later. Bye bye. Looking for any investigations, the one on the left and one on the right. I highly recommend you watch them as they're both two fantastic indie games that I took a look at recently. If you enjoyed this, please follow my Twitch and my YouTube channels which are below, and follow me on Twitter where you can get updates on the stuff I'm making recently. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.